हेलो गाइस दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ कैंडी क्रश के मैप एंड हियर वी विल क्रिएट दिस बोर्ड लेआउट एंड इन दिस बोर्ड वी विल ऐड कैंडी स्ट्रीट द कैंडी इमेज लिंक इज गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन डाउनलोड देयर ऑल द कैंडीज इज गिवन एज यू कैन सी ऑल द कैंडीज इज पॉपुलेटेड इन टू ए स्क्वायर ले आउट एंड वी विल क्रिएट दिस स्क्वायर ले आउट यूजिंग ग्रिड ले आउट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन द एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो एंड हेयर वी हैव टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू प्रोजेक्ट विथ एम टी एक्टिविटी क्लिक नेक्स्ट एंड गिव इट ए नेम लेट से कैंडी क्रस एंड प्रेस फिनिश यू कैन सी द प्रोजेक्ट इज थिंकिंग now the project has been successfully synced now first of all we have to go to the activity main and here we have to go to the code editor and uh, change its root element that is this and give it a linear layout and also delete this now we have to give orientation to this linear layout that is vertical and also we have to give id to it let's say main layout and now we have to add a grid layout that will be of 8 by 8 grid and in each grid we will add candy that is red purple blue etc so given an id of let's say board and also orientation will be horizontal now we have to add drawable images these images you can download these images i have provided the link in description box so copy it from there and here we have to paste it in drawable folder press okay and again okay all the candies has been pasted and now we have to create integer array that will store all the resource id of images in drawable folder so candies array r dot drawable dot blue candy and copy this paste it six time since we have six images and the error here you are change this to green candy the error is due to the semicolon we have to remove it and separate it by comma now separated by comma changes to green candy also this to red candy comma and orange candy this should be yellow candy comma and the last one will be purple candy all the candies resource id is added into this integer array and now we have to create three variables one is for width of screen making the grid layout responsive for all screen sizes of device int width of block number of blocks will be 8 that is we want 8 by 8 grid and also one more variable that is width of screen and now we have to go to the on create method and here we will use display matrix class for checking the width and height of screen of any of the device display matrix display matrix equals new display matrix and now we have to pass this display matrix into get window manager dot get default display dot dot get matrix and here we have to pass our display matrix that we have created above and now we can get the height and width of a screen using width of screen equals display matrix dot width in pixels and also let's say height of screen equals display matrix dot width of uh, height of 
18 pixels and now we can find the width of block using width of screen and number of blocks using this formula width of screen divided by number of blocks so we have got width and height of each of these candies now we have to create the board so let's create a method create board in on create method and here we have to create the instance of grid layout and find its by id r dot id dot board that we have given to this grid layout now we have to set the number of rows and number of columns using set row count that is 8 number of blocks and set column count number of blocks that is 8 by 8 grid and now i'm going to set the width and height of the grid layout using grid layout dot get layout params dot height equals let's say first add width equals width of screen and also grid layout dot get layout params dot height equals width of screen since we want a square layout so provide it the same height and width and now we have to check if this square layout is created or not so first of all add a background color let's say has ddd for gray and now run the app and check if it is a square layout or not so the app is running now you can see but the square is at the top and we want it to at center so we have to add a attribute that is layout gravity let's say center vertical and run the app and but you can see there is no any change this is because we have to add gravity and at linear layout here gravity equals center and now run the app now you can see this is working correctly the square is at center and now we have to add candy as a image view into each grid so first of all use a for loop int i equals zero i less the number of blocks into number of blocks since we want 64 candies because grid layout is of 8 by 8 size and here we have to create image view each time the for loop will be executed the image view will be created and that image view i will add into grid layout so we have created image view now we have to set width and height image view dot set id first set its id past i image view dot set layout params here we have to create instance of new android dot view dot view group view group dot layout params and here width of block and the second parameter will be also width of block since we want a square of image view and also set maximum height and width of image view this will be also same that is width of block set maximum width width of block and now we have to create a random position for index random candy that will be between 0 and candy's length minus 1 and for getting number random between 0 and candies dot length we use these lines 
and we have to just cast it to int this generates random number between 0 and candice dot length and now we have to set image resource randomly using this random index that we will pass in set image resource these resources will be added into the image view now let's first run the app and see if the image view is showing or not so you can see the app is running but there is no any image view here this is because we have not added this image view into our grid layout so we have to add every time grid layout dot add view image view and now let's run the app not showing oh this is because here we have to pass candies at index random position means random candy at index random candy and now let's run the app now the app is running and you can see all the candies placed randomly from candy array that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel